Hi everyone, here are my top 10 tips on how to keep your project organized. Number 1. Use Hack and Plan. Hack and Plan is a free and a great website that allows you to have a virtual board with all the tasks you need to accomplish. Coding, design, sound, ideas and of course bugs. It is also great for a small team if you need to follow on a few stuff. Uh, together and I really recommend you to check it out. The link is in the description and I use it every day all the time. Number two, directory structure. Unity allows you a total freedom in that matter. You can actually do so many stuff and it can get really messy sometimes, even most of the times. Personally, I always make sure that every folder starts with a small cap, underscore and a large cap. Number 3. Scene Structure Very important thing, not only when you are working on complex games, usually the scene will get messy with a lot of game objects. Create child, simple as that. Number 4. Use headers in your code. A little thing you can do so things will look a bit more clean to the eye. Create headers that explain shortly the current variable. Number 5. Player name text. So this is a nice way I use on every object in my scene. For example, I have a player text UI. Instead of calling it player name text or something else, I simply call it player name dot text. So it automatically knows that this object has a component of a text, of course. Also, not only it looks more clean, it is the nice extra when I need to search the current object and my scene. I can simply type the component name. Number 6. Assigning icons. Pretty basic but useful. Make sure to assign visual icons for the objects in your scene. Number 7. Use the correct layout for you. So this one is a different one for each person. You should choose your layout based on the environment you are currently working at. For example, I have two monitors. So usually what I do is taking the game view to my right monitor and the rest of the Unity editor to my left monitor. Number 8. Save all version. When you work on a big project, I highly recommend you to have a general folder that contains all of the versions that the game has so far. Because most of the times you're gonna need to go back and see how the old versions worked. Number 9. Make a prototype scene. So this is something that I think every game should have. Basically a prototype scene that contains all of your wild ideas when you want to check something, improve anything or just checking new abilities to your player for example. You should always have this prototype scene that you can mess it up and do whatever. That, yeah, that's about it. It's just gonna save you a lot of time instead of doing it on your main scene. You can really get a lot of stuff messy. Number 10 feature list. Basically the feature list contains all of the ideas that I want to have in the game. Doesn't matter if they are fuck crazy or even most of them won't even make it to the final version. It is good to store those ideas somewhere. So that's about it guys. I hope this video helped you out. Seriously, if it is, I would love to hear your comments below. Also, it would be a great support if you can click on the subscribe button. So thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.